Hi guys, welcome back to Learning English and Literature. In this video, I will be analyzing the poem Piano and Drums by Gabriel O'Cara. But before I begin, please hit the subscribe button and let's reach a wider audience. The title itself, Piano and Drums, is symbolic. The piano represents the Western culture, while the drums represent the African culture. The title Piano and Drums simply means the coming together of two different cultures, the Western culture and the African culture. Stanza one. When at break of day at a riverside, I hear jungle drums telegraphing, the mystic rhythm, urgent, raw like bleeding flesh. Speaking of primal youth and the beginning, I see the panther ready to pounce, the leopard snarling about to leap, and the hunters crouch with spears poised. The prisoner speaks of finding himself at dawn, deep inside an African jungle. Now, the prisoner is recollecting life as a child in Africa. He remembers the drum. The sound of the drum is mystical. There are so many supernatural things that comes with it. The sound of the drum to him creates agility, strength, and quickness of action. In a nutshell, the sound of the African drum is simply muscular. I see the panther ready to pounce, the leopard snarling about to leap, and the hunters crouch with spears poised. Here, the prisoner highlights the natural wildlife in Africa and the bravery and warrior attributes of Africans, like the Maasai warriors of Kenya, they hunt lions with spears. Africans are brave, Africans are strong. This is the picture the prisoner is portraying in the first stanza. Stanza two, and my blood ripples, turns torrent, topples the years, and at once I'm in my mother's laps exactly. At once I'm walking simple paths with no innovations, rugged, fashioned with the naked warmth of hurrying feet and groping hearts, in green leaves and wild flowers pulsing. In this stanza, the poet recollects life in Africa as he is transported way back to his roots and way back to when he was a child growing up in Africa. The freshness, the simplicity of this now forgotten African past. Take a look at these lines. I'm walking simple paths with no innovations. The African life is simple. The African life is natural. It is marked with purity and innocence. We can hear very loudly the persons longing for the return of this recolonial period. The culture of Africa was beautiful before the Europeans came. The persona enjoyed it. The persona fell in love with the African culture before the persona got mixed with the Western culture. Let's go to stanza three. Then the Europeans came with a complex way of life, confusing the people. The Europeans came with a different culture that African people did not understand. They got lost trying to understand the Western culture. If you take a look at those lines, but lost in the labyrinth of its complexities, it shows you that the person is confused, and so are many Africans today, who knew how beautiful the African ways of life was before the Europeans came. Let's compare these lines with these lines in stanza two. I'm walking simple paths with no innovations. The African life here is simple, pure, innocent. But when the Europeans came, they came with their complex way of life, and Africans became confused as they could not mix the two cultures together. Stanza four. The person that speaks to us about his sense of loss, he is clearly being pulled on both sides in two different directions the lingering overtones of his glorious African past, and the influences of a new foreign culture. He is clearly in a state of dilemma. In stanza four, the person right here explains to us that right now he's confused. He grew up in Africa as a child, but he got influenced by the Western world, and now he's confused. He doesn't know which one to pick, whether to pick the African way of life or to pick the Western way of life. So today, Many Africans are confused. There are people today who cannot even speak their native dialect. That is the negative influence of the Western culture. Mind you, the person is not saying that you should not accept Western culture. What the person is saying here is that you cannot mix the Western culture with African culture. 
just like you cannot play the piano and the African drum together, you will not get a pleasant sound. You will get a cacophony. That's what the person is saying here. If you're going to be African, be an African. If you're going to stick with the Western culture, stick with the Western culture. Do not try to mix them together, just like the piano and drums. If you play both instruments together, you will hear a cacophony. Thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck in your forthcoming WIAC examinations.